you've logged in and now you're ready to create your first farm. You'll go to my farms tab and right away, if you don't have any farms, you're gonna be prompted to put an address in. Now you can do this by address or zip code, but the best way is to enter an address. And you do that by just putting the house number, the name of the street, and start typing the city, and then select it from the drop down, And it will then find all the North, Lane, Avenue, and Court. Then you're gonna go ahead and name your farm. Typically, you're gonna to wanna to name it something that you can identify it from a list, an address, or an intersection. In this case, I'm gonna name it 76 Seton and then save it. From there, you're just gonna click OK and it's gonna bring up a map, just like most maps that you see on any of the online sections. At the very top of the map, you're gonna notice that there's a broom, a center point target, and a polygon. The center point is that if you were to drag away on the map, you can click on the center point and it'll bring you back to the point on the map that you were at. The polygon, once you select it, that'll allow you to draw a shape around the area that you wanna knock. You wanna make sure that you don't zoom out too much because then your shape is gonna bring back too many homes and it's not gonna be manageable. So you wanna zoom in enough to be able to see the properties that you wanna map. That way you can get a lot more detail about what you wanna do. From there, you're just gonna click on the polygon, go to the intersection and left click one time and that'll anchor down your start point. You don't have to hold the button down, you just take your mouse to the next section and click again. And you're gonna to wanna to continue clicking and as you notice, every time you click, you're gonna be able to change directions and create a new anchor point. Once you're done, you're gonna go right back to where you started and click at your start point. Do not cross points, just go back to your start point and close shape. Once you do that, the system is gonna give you a count of how many homes are in that shape. In this scenario, there's 52 but we're gonna go ahead and click on OK or edit. We're gonna edit on this one. We're gonna click in the shape. We're gonna hover over one of the anchor points until it turns green. We're gonna click, hold, and drag. And by doing that, it's gonna adjust the count of homes and the shape. And it'll tell you how many properties we took out or added. We hit OK. And now the system is retrieving all the data for you and it's gonna drop all the pins on the map for you. In this scenario, you'll gonna notice that there's gonna be about 47 pins that will drop on the map. Now, you have the ability to go ahead and edit the shape again because you notice that you missed a corner after you closed your shape. All you gotta do again is click in the shape, hover over one of the anchor points, hold it, drag, include the rest of the homes. From here, it'll tell you again that you've added five properties to your shape and you're gonna hit OK. Once you leave this page, you can no longer edit this farm. From here, you can go to records and you're gonna notice that all the records of the homeowners are right there, along with all the MLS activity on the right. Now you're ready to go farming in your app.